What's up everyone? Welcome back to the Durbin Compound. If you haven't met me already, my name is Devin Durbin. So chances are you haven't been around the channel yet because 99.4% of you guys aren't subscribed. I hope that you find value in my content today and consider clicking that subscribe button. The first thing and most important thing about fast accurate cuts on your miter saw is your tape measure. So we're going to go over some tips and tricks on how to get fast accurate measurements and then cutting them on your miter saw so you're perfect every time. I hope that you guys stay tuned. All right guys, first lesson here, we're gonna talk about the end of the tape measure here. You can see that there is some slack here. So what this is designed for is to make up for the uh, the thickness of this actual end here. So what happens is you make a measurement, let's say you wanna measure in between two boards like, like so. Okay, you've got them oriented like this. You have to push your tape measure up against here. And then when you go, you wanna fill this gap with a board, when you go to then cut it, now you're cutting your board and you pull back and it makes up for the thickness of this blade right here. So you push it here, and then once you measure the board, it pulls back out. So you want to make sure that there's not excessive slack here on your tape measure. If this gets pulled out, you're gonna have inaccurate measurements, and it starts from your measurement tool. So make sure that you keep your, uh, your tape measure in good shape. One of the reasons why, why this gets worn out so easily is because everybody always wants to let it slam shut. So when it comes to the end of the tape, you wanna just gradually let it close. A lot of people will you know, uh, extend it out to 10 feet and then they think it's cool to just uh, let it slam back into the tape measure. Well, guess what? You're wearing out your measurement tool. So, so to keep this accurate, take good care of it. Okay, so that takes up for your slack there. Now let's talk about marking the boards because once you're a pro, uh, and you've been around a miter saw for a long time, you can actually mark your two by fours and your other boards at the precise place where your blade is gonna hit it. And I'll show you that in a second. But marking the board for you beginners, uh, a lot of people will mess up and they use a little Sharpie, okay? Let's say you mark your board with a Sharpie here and that line is thick. Are we measuring on this side of the Sharpie? Did you measure on this side of the Sharpie? Did you uh, decide that where you marked it is the center of the Sharpie part and you're gonna take it out? That's the quickest way to become inaccurate is making big, huge uh, measurement marks. So the best way to keep a good measurement is with a mechanical pencil or a, a sharpened number two pencil. That way you get a nice, accurate measurement every time. So you can mark the board and then you know exactly where it's gonna be. So let's do a demonstration here. I'm gonna take this up to the saw here. And I'll show you on a couple different pieces. We're gonna mark off um, something like three and a half inches here, and I'll, just, I'll show you exactly how well you can make these marks. All right, so once you're here at the miter saw, if you're a pro and you've been around for a while, you know exactly where the blade hits on the wood. So another mistake that people make is they'll go ahead and mark their board here and you know they've measured out and they mark it here and then you bring your blade down and it's not even close to where you can't line it up. So on a traditional two by four, if you wanna be quick, you need to mark it here within the first inch or so here on your board on the outside edge, so on this edge. Okay. Then when you come down, you can put this blade right on the line to where you're going to cut. Okay, So that knowing where to mark your board is, is crucial for that kind of measurement, measuring. Um, if you want, you can take a speed square and you can make this line all the way across here and then you know draw your line all the way across the board and then now you've got an accurate line to bring your saw down to. Now, if you're just beginning, I recommend that you get a speed square and you, so you are able to put it out across the board here and then make a line all the way across so that no matter how you orient your board on the saw, you can get an accurate cut right along the line. Boom, you line the saw up with the edge of the cutting tooth 
right against the line, and then you can go ahead and make your cut. So on bigger pieces, like let's say a two by eight, um, a lot of people will, just like I said before, mark the end, and then you bring your saw blade down and it's nowhere near your mark and you're trying to eyeball it. That is the quickest way to make an inaccurate cut. So what we're gonna do right now is I'm gonna show you um, just how to do it. We're gonna, we're gonna go ahead and make a three inch mark here. Now, if you want to make a fast and accurate cut, you make a three inch little mark here, and then you can bring your saw blade right down to it. And then my cut is, is exactly at three inches. Okay, so you saw even with the pencil that I used, um, it was still a big, um, a big mark here, and I just went to the very edge of it, and boom, that's where I was cutting. So you want to make sure that you just stay consistent. When marking your boards, you stay consistent. If you have a big board like that, you see where I marked it. I marked it a couple inches in. Yeah, I have a two by eight, and see I marked it almost near the center because I knew exactly where my blade came down and touched the wood. So if you were to mark this two by eight out here or in here, you would get an inaccurate cut because you're trying to eyeball it. So for those beginners, use a speed square and mark the entirety of your board and draw your line all the way across. And then no matter how you orient your board on the saw, you can make an accurate cut. But if you're advanced and you want to start making accurate cuts, uh, you just need to learn exactly where to make the mark on your size of board or how far out from the fence. If you're doing a little furring piece like this, obviously you just mark the leading edge here. And then when I bring my saw down to it, it's right on the money. You see that? So I can quickly and make a quick, fast, and accurate cut. All right, guys, that's about it. Um, I can't think of anything else to make you a little bit more accurate. Just take the time to measure. You know that uh, that uh, that saying that always goes cut or <laughs> measure twice, cut once. Uh, it, it's it's absolutely true. Measure twice, cut once. Be accurate in your measurements. Be accurate in your markings. And you guys are going to be accurate on any miter saw you come across. Doesn't matter if it's cheap or expensive. You can make accurate cuts on just about anything. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope I didn't talk too much, but I thought I got my point across. I hope you guys enjoyed. Give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down, whatever you guys are into. And if you want to leave comments, leave them below. We'll talk about them, and we'll see you guys in the next video.